Introduction to Safety in the Chemistry Lab. This learning activity introduces students to emergency and safety equipment and safe use of chemicals and supplies. No eating or drinking in the lab. No horseplay in the lab. In case of fire, know where the emergency fire equipment, like the fire blanket and extinguisher, is located. Know how to use equipment before you need it. For splashes and spills, know where the eyewash and body drench stations are. Know how to properly use each one. Beware of broken glass. Broken glass should be swept up and disposed of in an approved waste container. Look out for any chemical spills and inform your instructor of any spills. Pouring liquids. Pour liquids carefully into smaller containers by using a beaker and a funnel. Pour onto the side of the funnel to help reduce splashing. Obtaining liquids from a stock bottle. Wear chemical splash goggles. A lab apron or lab coat helps to protect against chemicals that can destroy clothes and injure skin. Pour chemicals carefully into a beaker or other container that has a pouring spout. Light fires with caution. Always wear chemical splash goggles. If using a match, strike it first, then turn on the gas. Using a striker is safer than using a match. Slowly turn on the gas while making sparks next to the burner tip. Use holders to handle hot objects. Test tube clamps let you heat chemicals in a test tube without getting burned. General purpose laboratory holders allow you to move hot beakers, flasks, and other glassware safely. Ready, aim, heat. Wear chemical splash goggles and a lab apron or lab coat if required. Get ready by lighting the burner and having test tube and tongs nearby. Aim the mouth of the test tube away from you and others. Hold the test tube with a holder. Heat gently by moving the test tube back and forth over the flame. Heat the top of the liquid, not the bottom. What's wrong here? Chemical splash goggles are on her head instead of over her eyes. Her hair is not tied back. An open flame is near a flammable liquid. The lab worker has long, loose sleeves, and she is not wearing an apron. Heating and stirring liquids. A combination hot plate and magnetic stirrer provides safer conditions than an open flame in many situations. Stirring is by means of a small, coated magnet placed in the bottom of the beaker. A hot plate heats without the danger of an open flame. Get a whiff, but safely. Don't try to check for odors directly. Instead, use your hand to gently wave possible odors toward your nose. Breathe in just enough to detect any odor. Don't overdo it. Clamps, rings, and stands. A stand serves as a base for attaching various rings and clamps. A clamp can be used to hold items such as a test tube. A ring can hold a funnel or, with a pad on the ring, a beaker. Equipment to use with a ring and stand. A wire gauze pad is placed under a beaker or flask on a ring for safer heating. A triangle will hold a crucible while it is being heated. Examples of equipment being used safely. A beaker of non-flammable liquid is being heated on a wire gauze pad and ring. A crucible is being heated on a triangle. Notice the lid position, which allows vapors to escape. Let's test your knowledge. Is this safe? No, suspected odors should be gently waved toward the nose. Is this safe? No, the test tube should be pointed away and the posture should be less relaxed. Is this safe? No, 
A funnel should be used when pouring into a small container. Is this safe? No. A burner should be used here. Is this safe? Yes. A chemical that was splashed into the eye is being washed out. Is this safe? Yes. Eye protection is being worn, and a hot plate is used to heat a liquid. Is this safe? No. The top of the liquid should be heated to prevent blowout of the liquid. Is this safe? Yes. Eye protection and a lab coat are being worn. Is this safe? Yes. Eye protection and a lab coat are being worn. A funnel is being used for pouring into a small container. Is this safe? Yes. A lab coat is being worn and an eye wash station is being used to rinse out chemicals. Is this safe? Yes. Eye protection and a lab coat are being worn. A hood is being used to carry fumes away. Is this safe? No. Although eye protection and a lab coat are being worn and a hood is being used, the lab worker should be paying attention to what she is doing. Is this safe? Yes. Hood, eye protection, and lab coat are all in use. And finally, is this safe? No. The worker needs to keep an eye on what she is pouring. Congratulations! You have completed this activity, Introduction to Safety in the Chemistry Lab.